When winter returns each year, dark-eyed juncos seem to appear with the chill. While some birds migrate south with the changing seasons, these juncos move from the high mountains into the valleys to overwinter, bringing them into the backyard. Junco, which is the genus name, are a group of New World sparrows only found in North America. The most southerly species, the volcano junco, being endemic to the high-altitude Paramo ecosystem of the Tiloran Mountains of Costa Rica and western Panama at the very southern part of the continent. What makes the dark-eyed junco interesting is the variety of subspecies which are all co-specific, that is, the different subspecies often forage together in one little flock. With a dark head, gray body, and white breast, this is a slate-colored junco. This bird, having a black head but rusty flanks, is known as an Oregon junco. Finally in the flock, this bird with a light gray head and pinkish flanks is the pink-sided subspecies. There are another three easily recognizable variations in other parts of North America. To make matters more confusing, they sometimes interbreed, and so integrates can confuse a bird watcher. These co-specific subspecies have made taxonomy a mess. Some taxonomists in the past have classified these different juncos as separate species, but today they are all viewed as a single species, first described by Linnaeus himself, with several subspecies. The dark-eyed junco is found across much of North America, ranging from Alaska through almost all of Canada and the U.S. into northern Mexico, with only the high Arctic and lowland areas of the southern part of their range devoid of them though in much of their range they only appear in backyards when the winter begins and they are forced out of the high-altitude or high-latitude conifer forests they breed in and either have to migrate downhill or south. During winter they're a fairly common backyard bird and will regularly feed on seed left out for them, easily ID'd by their bright white outer retrices.